Tonight, I'd like to tell you a tale of Dr. William Miller. As William Miller's rallies attracted thousands of people, all focused on this one idea, that the world was going to end of October 22nd, 1844. That is the day the world would come to an end. About 50,000 people were disfellowshipped from their church, asked to leave just because of the belief in the soon second coming of Jesus. You know, conspiracy theories are generally based off of light facts and mostly uh, conjecture and uh, speculation. 39 people that tragically committed suicide based on the idea that they needed to remove themselves of their earthly bodies to be able to to be able to ascend to some higher plane. Yeah, oftentimes today we get we get like harassed or ridiculed by other churches to say, oh, you have a church that uh, brought, was brought out of or sprung out of a great disappointment or a misunderstanding of prophecy. And the funny thing about that is, is the original Christian church that was born in the book of Acts right there was born out of a great disappointment. He sat on the, uh, on the donkey and he started making his triumphal entry into Jerusalem and everybody was shouting and, and bringing all kinds of uh, tree branches and, and spreading their, their, their cloaks on, uh, on the ground. And now finally they were thinking, well, at, you know, at last Jesus was, was going to be taking his rightful place as king of Israel and do what he needed to do. Then the great disappointment came. So what was it that William Miller taught? He taught this 2,300 year prophecy, this time that would be beginning at the decree to restore and rebuild Jerusalem and then ending, that was in 457 BC, ending in 1844. That's the overarching length of time. Thank you.